Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about that powerful feature that is introduced in Spring Boot 3.5. That is how we are going to import that configurations variable dynamically. This feature makes it super easy to manage environment variables without extra configurations. Like if you want to building a cloud applications or microservices or maybe containerized deployments then this tutorial is for you. Stay till the end of this hands on coding and best practices. So what basically I am going to cover in this tutorial. So you are able to understand that what is spring.config.import equals to env colon. Okay. So what is it? you are going to understand about it. Next, how does it compare with the older version? Like before Spring Boot 3.5, how we are going to use this one and how it is better with this new version. Hands-on implementation, like how are, if you want to implement or you are going to apply in your applications, if it is a new or maybe in your existing application, then how you are going to implement it that's also I'm going to explain and also talked about that best practices and how you're going to debug this one okay so without further delay let's going through the nested slide and understand that how what is this new feature that is available in this Spring Boot 3.5 and how it will improve your coding and it will actually more secure and uh, it's remove boilerplate code basically from your code okay so let's go to the next slide so here basically we are going to understand about the environment variables so before we jump into the new feature let's understand what is environment variables are and why they matters in spring boot right so environment variables basically store configurations like database credentials api keys or urls maybe like if we want to connect with the database so those like uh, username passwords and other fields are basically varies from one pop one environment to another right then like api keys for calling some other apis or maybe some urls those basically related informations we are keeping under this properties file so this environment variables basically stores those configurations like database credentials api keys and urls they are widely used in docker kubernetes aws azure ci cd pipelines so these are the things where these environment are basically used spring boot applications need a way to dynamically load these variables okay next we will talk about that how we are going to doing this before spring boot 3.5 means how we are going to implement uh, like how we are going to achieve how we are going to read those configurations properties before releasing of the spring boot 3.5 so here basically if you see over here like uh, uh, this using the first approach there are basically three approaches over there so first one is the I know like I am assuming you already know this at the rate value annotations okay so this is means the manual binding okay so if you see over here at the rate value then here we are giving this this key value right property value basically app underscore DB underscore URL so this is the one of the way to get the configurations value values in your program or in your applications but here is a some limitations limitations it's basically it's required as you can see over here it's required the manual binding no default handling right second one using the system dot get env like it's a basically low level approach right because there is no dynamicity and based on the system dot get env and here we need to pass that particular key of that particular configurations and then we can get the db url here the limitation is like we are bypass the spring 
configuration system another one is the with placeholder in the application dot properties but if the variable is missing then the app may fail so this basically these are the approaches we are doing before releases of this spring boot 3.5 okay so next we are going to show you that how we are going to used in spring boot 3.5 and introducing of this spring boot spring dot config dot import equals to env colon so this basically spring boot 3.5 introduces spring dot config dot import this basically making it easy to load environment variables dynamically like here no manual binding is needed no manual binding means previously I have already explained in my previous slide that for getting the data from the properties or configurations file we need some kind of manual intervention of the code but here manual intervention is not needed here automatically all the things will happen it basically works seamlessly in container and cloud okay it's also for like better security and the maintainability and automatically it will ignore the missing variables like suppose we have given some properties but somehow those properties are missing then automatically it will ignore those missing variables now like if we want to implement into our applications then how we are going to doing that so step one is to like first of all we need to set the environment variables maybe you are going to use this like uh, maybe Linux or maybe Windows so if you are using the Linux then export then property and then value similar for this DB username and DB password so if you are using the Windows then here instead of the export you need to use the set variable set keyword set the key value and the key and value key and value right so this is the key and this is the value of that particular key so we need to set the value environment variables using this way maybe it's a Linux or maybe Windows okay so in this way we can set the variables in the environment variables next we need to use this property like if you see over here that is spring dot config dot import equals to nb and here if you see we are directly using this placeholder right url then username and the password and finally we need to the step 3 access those properties in spring boot like here we have providing the prefix that app dot data source right so basically here if you notice that we are having this prefix app dot data source for all these three properties so that's why here we have used this prefix app dot data source and in the configuration automatically it will pick those values like url username and the password so in this way we can directly access those properties okay so we have implement this step by step in a real spring boot application now what is the benefit of this one so here like why this feature is a game changer for spring boot developers the key benefit of this one it simplifies the configurations like we don't need any explicit placeholder right it's basically more secure like it's avoids the hard-coded secret into your code correct we don't need to hard-coded secrets in our code it's also maintain like uh, it's a very friendly for cloud and the container like work seamlessly with the docker kubernetes and the clouds deployment for maintainability also it's uh, reduce the boilerplate code right okay so these are the benefit of this one and like then if we like uh, talked about some of the best practices and debugging like uh, basically the prefix that I talked about that you should use the prefix to avoid the conflicts combined with the profiles like uh, we can use multiple uh, profiles over here like application prod application dev application UAT applications uh, stretch or stress okay this kind of properties profiles we can use easily we can use this debugging level like just to use this logging dot level dot org dot spring to debug and we can easily like gracefully we can handle the missing variables in the environment properties right in a real world like 
if we want to like cloud deployments like AWS, GCP, Azure, microservices in running in the Kubernetes, Docker container needing dynamic configs, CI/CD pipelines which secret chains dynamically. So in those scenarios, we can easily use those things. Now if we check the key differences between Spring Boot 3.5 versus the previous version, so I just mentioned few of the points like feature wise. So Spring Boot 3.5 directly using this spring.config.import but previously it is not available. Okay. So here basically we can configure those things like either under this application.properties or YML file but previously of this Spring Boot 3.5 we need to use this value annotations or environment API right. And if you see this is supported but previously it was not supported. So it's actually basically we don't need to write any Java code for that it's handled automatically but previous version of this Spring Boot like uh, less than of this Spring Boot 3.5 we need to write the Java code okay so this is based for the cloud environment docker kubernetes ci cd pipeline and but this one is the traditionals okay so these are the things basically that uh, like uh, we can use so before Spring Boot 3.5 managing environment variables require manual mapping, placeholders or explicit code binding. However, Spring.config.import equals to env simplifies this process by natively integrating environment variable into your Spring Boot configuration system. Basically why you should use it right in your program because it's a less boilerplate no need to no need to write some code for getting those values it's also avoid hard coded credentials in your properties file so these are the like benefits of this one that's all actually for this tutorial we have explored how this spring.config.import equals to envs simplifies environment variable management in spring boot 3.5 right and also we talked about that uh, differences between these hands on example of this one also in the later one I will try to like create some program and then I will definitely I'll show you that how you are going to access it if you found this tutorial helpful hit the like button subscribe for more Spring Boot content and drop a comment if you have any questions thank you for your time see you in my next videos bye bye Oh, 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 oh,